everybody and welcome back to Time To Go. Bob here. Thanks so much for stopping by the channel today. So today we're going to be doing just a quick unboxing from a brand new watch company, Dryden Watches. I think you're going to be interested in this one. This is their first release. It is a diver slash chronograph. Now I wasn't planning on doing an unboxing today but I started to think about it and this is one of those brands that I think could sell out potentially fairly quick. They kind of have it all going on with the spec sheet and the design is beautiful at least from what I've seen from pictures. Now I'm not a hundred percent sure on what the production run on these are and actually how fast they will go but I didn't want to risk it so we're going to take an early look today and I'll follow that up with a full video here in a few days. So let's spin the camera around and get into the watch. All right, so let's get into it here. And uh, today we are using my trusty Spider Co. I've been uh, actually thinking about getting into uh, maybe trying an EDC video. I might do that even this week at some point in time. I've started to get quite a collection of uh, knives, flashlights, pens, that sort of thing. So I think I might share that with you at uh, some point here in the very near future. So in the meantime, let's get into this box here. Got a little letter from the owner. Get the box out of the way. Whoa. Okay. I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like this before. Oh, wow. So it comes with a watch roll, which I was not aware of, actually. Drop the strap on the floor. I can never make it through these unboxings completely smoothly for some reason, but, and look at this, guys. Isn't that a thing of beauty? Here, let me get the plastic off. All right, so here's one thing that I like to see. We do have QC tested in February of 2019, and I took a quick glance at the letter here. It doesn't go into the full details of the QC. One kind of neat thing that they do is they actually set the watch to the local time of the purchaser, so that's kind of a nice little touch that, that, that has some hands on it before it's actually shipped out. So the watch itself is... I think this is absolutely gorgeous. The tone of the blue, that sunburst finish looks excellent. And I love the contrasting white subdials, kind of that reverse panda look. If you go on their site, I will leave a link below. They have quite a few really nice uh, colorways with this watch. So lots to pick from. As far as a couple of the basics, I'll cover everything in the full review, but it is housing, I think it's the VK16, one of the Seiko Mecha Quartz movements. So really nice looking watch again the crystal is a sapphire crystal double domed and i believe it looks like there's an ar coating there pretty nice looking watch oh case back we have a uh, nice little sailboat logo there i'm really quite happy with it uh, just out of the box here and i'm excited to wear it for the next few days i was just looking at the second strap for brief minute there I thought that these were actually the same strap but there's some sort of a texturing on this one so we will come back to that again when we do the full video so let's take a quick look at this on wrist here all right, so as I was putting the watch on, I actually noticed a little bulge here in the watch roll, and we have a third strap, kind of a gold tone tan strap, NATO strap. There was also in there a couple of quick release spring bars, and uh, both of the leather straps, by the way, are quick release as well. So here it is on wrist, and let's see if we can get some focus. And is it ever a looker on wrist? It wears really, really nice. The case size on these, by the way, is 42 millimeters. At least that's what it's listed at on the site. I will get all the exact measurements for the full video. Let's take a look and see what this action's like here with the bezel. And is it 
ever snappy. It's a little bit tight, but in a good way. There is going to be zero play with this one. It kind of reminds me of uh, some of the Mako and Rays that have the stiffer bezel, only a much better grip. So that's not a bad thing, that's for sure. So I'm really happy with it. It seems to have a really solid build quality, and it's going to be a lot of fun to wear here for the next few days. So that's going to be it for today, guys. Really appreciate you stopping by, and we'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.